It's the Tony Rose Morning Show on D93, and we are joined by one of the uh, great rock and rollers that you're going to meet anywhere out there. It's hard to believe uh, that Chariot uh, is, is famous. The, the famous album that I remember with the first time I got to listen to it and the first time I got to play I Don't Want to Be on, on the radio waves. I knew it was something different. It was something that was going to stick with us for generations to come. It is the one and only, the legendary Gavin DeGraw. Gavin, good morning, buddy. How you doing, man? Oh, wow, man. Good morning. Good to, good to hear you, man. I'm, I'm doing great. Thank Thanks for taking the time today. Man, we're taking a trip down memory uh, road again with uh, Reimagined Chariot 20, uh, which is out yeah. now. Um, did you know when you put this out, when you worked with the, the, the folks, the producers, the, everybody recording the album, you yourself, that you were onto something special that was going to be car- become part of really our music fabric uh, for so many decades and years to come? Well, man, uh, huge compliment. Thank you. Um, we know... I don't know. I don't know if you could ever predict some lasting, um, you know, as long as this record has lasted. But fortunately, I got lucky, and uh, it had some some success with it. It had some hits with it, and uh, and it's it's survived really well, um, you know, due due to the you know, the fans sharing it and and keeping it alive, and uh, and and people you know picking it up and, and placing it you know in, in TV shows and and, yeah. and films and and all that stuff and um, playing it on the radio, you know, th- there's factors that as a as a songwriter and as a as a musician, you can't control and you kind of you make the record and you kind of put it up there in the air and and give it away and and hope that people gravitate, for, you know, toward it and uh, I, just, I just you know I got lucky. I'm just riding a wave. You know, I, I, for for me, we've talked to so many performers on this show, so many artists on this show, and. One thing they always talk about is the first time they kind of hear their music on the radio, you know, and your music has always been such so many radio hits so much, you know, so radio friendly to to us. And it was always always a pleasure to play your music on the radio. First time you remember hearing uh, your music on the radio. What was that like? Uh, Really trippy, man. I actually I was in uh, Washington, D.C., and uh, I was headed back to the venue to play and I was getting out of the car. And uh, and it came on right after one of my favorite old old tunes, which was "Don't You Forget yeah. About Me." And uh, then the next song on was uh, "Follow Through," which was actually my first single that I ever I ever put out. And, uh, and I was like, "Wow, this is awesome! <laughs> Good sign." It came on after one of my favorite favorite tunes. So it was it was just a trip, you know. For me, it was a trip. So I just sat in the car and listened, and you know turned it up well man you get like i said it, it's it, it was all it, and and the first time i remember like i don't want to be we hit that it's like man it just hits different obviously it's got a, the catchy oh, yeah. hook it's got the words we can all sing along to but sure. it but it had the staying power too i remember that it's like we were playing a lot of it but we still are playing a lot of it too um the first time you look out in a crowd and they're singing along to your music and you know it's like I, I, this is easy money now i can i can let them do all the heavy lifting <laughs> for me what what's it like when you see people singing along to your music uh, it, it's a it's a trip, man. I mean, you feel it's rewarding as could be, because you, of course, you you want that to happen at some point in your life. Uh, you you want to visualize that, and you want that to become reality. But uh, but you don't experience it until you experience it. And when it when it does happen, you're like, wow, this is so crazy. I wrote this, you know, I wrote this at my house. You know, I wrote this at my I wrote this sitting at the edge of my bed. I wrote this sitting at the piano, you know, uh, sitting in a cafe, wherever you were when you were writing something down. You ha- and you have this, these memories of of the music uh, coming out of you, and and uh, it, you just you don't have control of where it ends up, and that's the that's the thing, right? So yeah. when it lands somewhere and people gravitate toward it, that's why it's so so magical. Yeah, right. there's parts of it you control, and then there's the things that you don't. So when they're singing to you and they're smiling and they're digging it, or you know, or they're <laughs> you know bopping their head, you're like, wow, this is so crazy. Yeah. This is just an unbelievable experience. They they love this, you know, or they're they love this message, and you're going, wow, I can't believe my what I needed to say is translating uh, in a way that they're loving it too, right? It's 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 really. Um, 
it, it's really mind blowing. Yeah, of course, you mentioned Simple Minds a second ago as one of your favorites. Who who are the artists? Yeah. And obviously, you've had a chance to meet and perform and record with and get to know so many folks um, that that you probably you know, grew up with and, and listening to and 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 idolized in so many ways. But who who is it for you? Like, who's the artist that? Uh, no matter what, you'll always find time to to crank it up or to listen to the words of. Oh man, I'm. I mean, I'm a huge Billy Joel fan. Yeah. So, huge, huge Billy Joel fan. Plus, he's a New Yorker, you know, New York yeah. guy. So, so there's a special place for for my in my heart for Billy Joel, of course. And and uh, and and I was I was lucky enough that that he uh, he took me on tour for you know for for an extended period of time. We played a bunch of shows at the Garden. Um, you know, of course, oh, I'm opening up for I was opening up for him, uh, which is a tremendous honor. Yeah. Uh, as as a, a musician and a, and a music fan, as a piano player, you know myself, obviously. So, so it was a huge huge honor for me. Um, can't tell you how many times we played the Garden. You know, we played Fenway Park, Wrigley Field, Cap Stadium, just just wow. so many unbelievable venues around around the country. So for me, Billy Joel, you know, he uh, not not just because of of uh, of what he is musically, but also uh, you know what he represented for me as a kid, as a as a listener, um, uh, as a fan. Um, you know, seeing him play live when I was 15 years old is the reason that I I had made the, the decision of, of uh, playing music for a living. You know, he really yeah. changed the way I viewed music because I saw how uh, how music was making people feel. Yeah. Uh, and I'm being, you know, being at the show, seeing, seeing how people were, were transformed at, at, a, at a, at a concert, and, and how much joy it was bringing people. Um, I was just looking at strangers having, having fun, and I thought, wow, this is a really yeah. special uh, career uh, to pursue. And, and uh, I like how it's making me feel, and I like, I like how it's making other people feel. I want to do that. So all of those things have culminated, and, and then of course when, you know, when, when, when. When he reached out and offered me uh, shows, um, it was just that much more special to me. You know, I mean, opening up for Billy at the Garden is, is a crazy thing to be able to say he did, right? Yeah. Um, and you know, Hollywood Bowl and all these these crazy places. Wow. Um, just 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 special uh, special um, wow. connection for me. On another level. And, of course, Chariot 20 back out with some new tunes as well. Uh, thank you so much for the time. I know, like I said, super busy. I appreciate you making a few minutes for us here at, uh, at, at the station. And uh, thank you so much for the music you bring us, buddy. And continue best of luck. And let's do it again right. soon. we got some more time, okay? I like that. I appreciate your time, man.